So NVIDIA just sent over their new Shield TV device and I only have one question. Why didn't I buy this thing earlier? There's one feature on this thing that is just so baller. Let's get into it. Hey, welcome to Zach's Tech Turf. Today we're gonna to be checking out the new Nvidia Shield TV, which is a device that a lot of us PC gamers can utilize. And if you're new here and you wanna see more PC gaming or PC building videos, then hit that subscribe button down below and also that notification bell, that way you never miss an episode. But yeah, let's check this thing out. So the Shield TV, for those of you that don't know, is Nvidia's take at the Android TV box. Just like a Roku, Fire TV, or Apple TV, this device allows you to play all of your favorite streaming apps. My wife and I actually cut our cable bill about six months ago and we only use YouTube TV now so I'm definitely a big fan of these streaming boxes I kind of already own like five of them any of the Android TV boxes are perfect for you cable cutters out there because there's so many different streaming platforms these days but the baller part about the shield TV is that it's made for PC gamers in mind there's three main ways to play games on this device the first one is just normal Android gaming where you can download games from the App Store Thanks Nvidia for the gift card by the way. But most importantly, there's also Nvidia's GeForce Now service and you can also stream your main gaming PC to this device just like a Steam Link. Before getting into the actual gaming experiences of these three methods, let's first talk about how the Nvidia Shield is actually able to play the games with the hardware that it's rocking. It's rocking an Nvidia Tegra X1 processor, three gigabytes of RAM and 16 gigabytes of built-in storage with USB expansion options. Speaking of which, on the back of the device are two USB ports, a full-sized HD HDMI port, Ethernet port, and the power port. Overall, the device is just built really solid and it's pretty crazy just how small the device is. There's also two long vents for cooling, which is definitely a plus. To control the Nvidia Shield, you have two different options. The first one is their Shield controller, which is actually an impressive gaming controller. Despite the crazy angles on this thing, it's actually super comfortable to use. And overall, it just feels like a premium controller and not a knockoff PS4 or Xbox controller. The other method of controlling your shield is the remote, and this thing also impressed me as well. On the top are the directional controls, then a back and home button, and underneath that is a button to control the built-in Google Assistant feature. Finally, underneath that button is a touch slider to control the volume, which is an appreciative feature too. With the hardware out of the way, let's circle back to how gaming on the shield is, and just overall how the software on the device actually feels. The first method to gaming is to try Treat this thing like any other Android device and just download some normal Android games. With the power of the Tegra X1 processor, these games actually feel way smoother than they do on some smartphones and you can actually see that there are hundreds of options that are either free or paid. The next method of playing games is to use Nvidia's GeForce Now service and if you've been subscribed to my channel then you already know how much I love this service. I've made four different videos on it at this point. GeForce Now allows you to stream your personal PC gaming library from a super powerful gaming PC in the cloud to your Nvidia Shield TV, and it's a very smooth experience if you have a decent internet connection. I would definitely recommend using Ethernet with GeForce Now, whether it's on a desktop, a MacBook, or the Shield TV, but if you absolutely have to use Wi-Fi, you definitely can do it as well. And finally, the third and final way to game on the Shield TV is to use Nvidia's GeForce Experience streaming service, which allows you to stream your own gaming PC to to the Shield device. All you have to do is enable game streaming from GeForce Experience. Yes, this does mean you'll need an Nvidia graphics card, but then you're good to go. You then have access to your entire gaming library, and this is perfect for people like me who have their gaming PC down here in the basement, but also want a game upstairs in the living room or even in the bedroom. This is the same concept as the Steam Link if you're familiar with that, but I would comment that the GeForce Experience service actually produces better results over Wi-Fi. Like I said, you definitely want to use Ethernet for anything game streaming related, but I actually connected this device over 5 gigahertz and played upstairs and the game streaming was actually pretty flawless. Overall, I'm definitely really happy with the ample amount of ways that you can game using the streaming box. If you're interested in picking up an Android TV box so you can use your favorite streaming apps but also want to have some gaming options, then I would highly recommend checking out the Nvidia Shield TV. One more thing before wrapping up this video, I want to talk about a feature that may not apply to all of you, but I am just so pumped that Nvidia included it. Just like on your gaming PC that has an 
an NVIDIA graphics card, the Shield TV actually has NVIDIA Share built right into the device so you can either record your gaming footage or even stream it to online platforms like Twitch.tv. The interface looks almost the exact same as the desktop version. You can either manually start or stop the recording or choose to record the last X amount of minutes, and then you can transfer that footage back to your PC via USB or over your network. This is such a good feature for me because I'm personally at a time in my life where I don't have much time for gaming, but when I do sneak it in, I absolutely have to record that footage for a weekly download episode or some other video on my channel, so technically I'm not wasting time. With this, I can now casually play games upstairs in the living room and still capture the footage that I need so that I can use it on my channel. I'm such a fan of this feature. Well, that wraps up my review of the NVIDIA Shield TV. Huge thank you again to NVIDIA for sending this thing over because I'm definitely going to be using this thing way long after my review. Now feel free to head on over to one of these two videos if you haven't seen them yet and definitely hit that subscribe button because next week we have even more benchmarking to do. You don't want to miss that video.